hello friends today we are going to discuss about the classification of drugs which is used for safety also so as where we can see we have the diagram of parietal cell parietal cell from where through the proton pump acid is secreted so and then prostaglandin is the defensive factor then we have a cholinergic and histaminic receptor which stimulates the secretion of gastric acid so for the treatment of peptic ulcer we have to block these receptors which becomes the secretion inhibitor and we have to like stimulate the prostaglandin which works as the defensive factor that's why we have to stimulate this so there are different drugs which can which come under these groups so we can easily learn the drugs for peptic ulcer by drawing this diagram and practicing it once and again then we will be very pro with it now let's name the drugs which fall under the particular groups now under the prostaglandin we we have misoprostol prostaglandin analog under the proton pump inhibitor we have omeprazole is omeprazole pantoprazole rabiprazole and then we have to block this receptor so we have to uh, use anticholinergic drugs which are oxyphenonium pyrenzepine propanthaline and we also have to use h2 h2 antihistaminic drug which are ranitidine ranitidine then we have roxatidine we have cimetidine we have famotidine we have famotidine we have famotidine so these drugs come under the secretion inhibitor these drugs come under the secretion inhibitor this four category come under the secretion inhibitor again we have another category which are anti acids which neutralizes the acid which are being produced in the stomach so under this category we can like classify it into the systemic and non systemic anti acids so as a systemic anti acid so we have sodium bicarbonate and sodium citrate and in non systemic we have aluminum hydroxide magnesium hydroxide magnesium trisilicate and yeah these are the drugs in the non systemic anti acid which neutralizes the acid which are already been produced in the stomach from the parietal cells and then oh, okay against this causative agent which is h pylori we have another like different regimen this is as, as we know h pylori has got urease enzyme has cag a enzyme different virulence factors so which disturbs the defensive factor and over like it grow as it grows in acidic medium it like harms our mucosa in the stomach so we have to eradicate it and thus for the eradication of the h pylori we have we have introduced like we have been introduced with the triple regimen and quadruple regimen triple regimen includes the omeprazole we can remember this triple regimen and quadruple regimen possible triple regimen as o a and c o indicates for omeprazole is omeprazole lansoprazole a indicates for amoxicillin and c indicates for clarithromycin similarly in quadruple therapy we can remember its drugs as a t o m and b t indicates for tetracycline o indicates for omeprazole m for metronidazole or tenidazole and b for bismuth or salicylate so in this way we can treat and eradicate the h pylori infection causing peptic ulcer 
so here we go we complete our classification of the drugs using peptides uh, thank you see you again